Good evening. We start tonight with this picture. This is Metro Officer Shay Michelonis. He was shot last night during the protest and remains in critical condition tonight on life support. As the officer remains in the hospital, more protests are expected, and the governor has activated the National Guard. Thanks for joining us here at 5 o'clock. I'm Denise Valdez. Good evening. I'm Brian Loftus. What started as a fairly peaceful evening last night quickly took a turn. Shortly after Officer Michelonis was shot, a second shooting involving police happened. The incidents took place just three miles apart on Las Vegas Boulevard. The Metro officer was shot near Circus Circus. The second shooting occurred by the federal courthouse downtown at Las Vegas Boulevard in Clark. We'll have more on what the National Guard is going to be doing coming up. But first, let's start with our team coverage with reporter Sally Hadamillo, who has an update now on the case and the officer's condition. Sally? Denise, 29-year-old Shay Michelonis is still in grave condition. Now, as you can see right behind me, these are a few of the things that people have stopped by to leave. Flowers in front of the travel arch next to Circus Circus to show support for Officer Michelonis. We were out here last night covering the protests. While some were peaceful, tensions escalated around 11.30 p.m. I saw police pulling into the Ross parking lot on Convention Center and Las Vegas Boulevard. Then Circus Circus was blocked. Michelonis was shot while officers trying to disperse the crowd. 20 year old Edgar Samaniego was arrested a short time later by SWAT and K 9 units. We are also sickened by what we saw that sparked all of this. As an agency and from the patrol division, we respect everyone's constitutional right to protest. We are here to support you and to keep you safe as long as it's done lawfully. San is being held at the Clark County Detention Center on one count of attempted murder and two counts of discharging a gun where a person might be endangered. San is expected in court tomorrow morning. Now the I team located San family, but they said they would not talk to us in camera. Reporting live, Sally Jaramillo, 8 News Now.